In this session we'll talk about Track View and Track Studio. The only difference between the two really is that Track Studio allows you to open video files. Go ahead and open up a data file here. Choose your file. You can, once you download these off your TrackMate system, they'll be in a folder. And then your data file will pop up here. You can see immediately that you have the track map as well as a few distance graphs. The driver dashboard at the top here shows some driver information as well as speed, g-forces, lap time, lap information, and gearing input if that has been uh, set up. We'll go into setup here and in this case you will actually see all the laps here on the right and the green lap is his best lap. And then on the left you can see all the different graphs that are available. So you have distance graphs under one tab as well as time graphs, video if you're using track studio, segment analysis, friction circle, break and turn zone map, track facts to give you any facts about the track, or car facts. On the setup window there's also car setup. You can input the name of the track as well as some information about the car, the name, the weight, the rev limiter, the number of cylinders as well as any car or track notes. You can also input any gearing information or tire size. You can also do some tire or some driver information and some other options here for different graphs or selections as to where you want the default paths to find your files. Go back here and select the best lap, 121, and hit OK. The nice thing about Track View and Track Studio is we've made everything pretty easy to use. So say you want to segment out the track and see what you've done. Just go up here to Segment Tools, hit Auto Create Segments, and it'll drop all the segments right on the track. If you want another one, you just drag a new one up there. Drag a new one. And you can also just get rid of any segments you don't want either. So you drag it off the track, remove it. Now I want it back. Drag it up, let it go. And you can do this in different styles depending on what you choose. Go ahead and close that out. You can see on the track map now that the colors are coordinated to the distance graphs over here on the left. So they're numbered and colored so it's easy to find the two. All your play controls are down here at the bottom. You can use the slider to move the car around or just hit play and use the other fast forward or rewind tools. Once the car is going around the track here you can see that uh, you know, see the position of the car and you can actually zoom in using the controls up here and zoom into the line and see what you've done. And another nice feature is comparing two drivers. So now we can see that he went around the course this way. We can also see that the graph is showing that the speed at, at that point as well as the lateral G's. So we say we want to compare him against another session. We just go to add driver and simply select another session, hit OK, and now when we go into setup we'll see both of those drivers. They have different colors, they each have all the graphs selected already, and in this case this is the same file so it's going to have the same lap selected. Let's say if we chose a different lap here, we'll hit OK. Now immediately on the track map you can see the different lines that they've taken, the different colors of the drivers, and on the distance graphs you can see that as well. If you hit play, you can now watch the cars go around the course. And you can see where he was faster during a his best lap versus a slower lap. You can also zoom in and out of any graph. You can auto pan to follow a particular driver. You can also rotate the track map and in the case of this particular file we can go up to setup and add a video element. Select OK and the video will pop up. 
with the video loaded up, you'll see the car going around the track as well as the video, and you can select to see a dash or not. Move the dash down here, and we'll go ahead and look at a different kind of dashboard. So you can select a race dash that has a tachometer or a full dash here. Select OK. And you can just drag it and back it all the way up and hit play and watch yourself go around the course. The nice thing about the segments and video is you can actually now create a theoretical best lap. So, and now that I've cut up the track, the theoretical best lap of this driver is a couple hundreds faster. Not that much faster, but fast enough to be noticeable. If you hit OK and select theoretical best lap here, it will actually display the best lap, the theoretical best lap in video as well as in data. So as they cross that next segment, if that segment was faster, the video will actually jump to that fastest segment, and so will the data. It's a great way to compare you know, your different runs or the different line you may have taken through the course and see which one is actually faster. You can also write video and create a video to be displayed up on YouTube or our Share and Compare website. You can also do things like segment analysis between two drivers. So we'll go ahead and select segment analysis here. And we'll go ahead and select the best lap rather than the theoretical best lap. Hit OK. And we'll go ahead and move this dash around here. And segment analysis is an extremely powerful tool. As you can see, it's also color coordinated to match what's going on on the track as well as who's faster or slower. So you have the two different color drivers here. And then you can just look at the different segments. So for instance, let's look over here at segment five. Segment five, you can see the different segments. It's all highlighted in green being faster, red being slower. See the entry speed, exit speed, maximum braking, average speed through the turn, average braking. All that information is right in front of you. It's all color coordinated. It's all easy to find, and it was one click away. So here on the scoreboard, we can actually see the overall lap was faster. The theoretical best lap is going to be displayed there, and you can see the fastest segments. And in this case, the theoretical best lap was based on the faster lap and it was actually faster throughout. So he really nailed that best lap there and uh, he should use that for reference the next time versus looking at any of his other data. But that is not always the case. There's many times when a slower lap will actually be faster in many sections but you just didn't get it all together to get that perfect lap. And that's what data analysis is really for. So that shows you some of the features of Track View and Track Studio. We hope you've enjoyed this session, and we'll talk to you soon.